Batteries have been a part of our daily lives for decades. But more recently, large-scale batteries have become a key technology for utilities to use. Utility-scale battery storage facilities are large containers made up of thousands of smaller lithium-ion cells used to store energy created by renewables like solar and wind. So it can be used at a time when the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing. Battery storage can also be used to store excess energy that is bought and sold on the energy imbalance market from neighboring states for future demand use. Currently, most of the battery technology utilizes lithium ion batteries, but in the future, batteries will take on new forms of technology and play a large part in energy delivery. Especially as we add more renewable sources to the grid, the larger the need will be to store that energy for future use, since renewables like solar and wind don't produce 24 hours a day. Battery storage systems like the Bolster substation allow SRP to capture renewable energy produced at a solar field during sunny hours and release it on demand, thus making solar power available after dark or on cloudy days when the sun isn't shining. The time of day when solar energy output is at its highest doesn't align with customer demand. The largest spike in customer demand is usually seen after work and school hours when customers and their families are returning home. Both rooftop and utility scale solar systems decrease production right at the time when our customers need it most. SRP is a leader in training for the safe operation of batteries. We participate nationally and locally in the development of codes and standards that guide their safe installation. We work with the Electric Power Research Institute participating in pilot studies and learning from other utilities across the nation. Currently, battery research is focused on making batteries safer and able to store more energy. These energy storage systems are relatively new and expensive, but we're actively pursuing the best way to use them with renewable energy and natural gas energy sources. For example, do we charge them with solar energy or unused generation capacity in the early morning and then use that energy during the peak time. We can also use them to store energy when the grid is selling it at a very low cost, thus saving our customers money. We want to get the maximum benefit of the generating resources we have, and perhaps we won't need to build an addition to a substation, but instead we can just add a battery. Battery technology is improving through research and development and will continue to play an increasing role in the future of the grid. SRP is committed to being up to date as this rapidly changing technology moves forward.